Hello everyone. So today I have a few outdoorsy things to do. Oh yeah, and the LEDC who had their stuff in my building when I was moving in still haven't gotten their things. Well, today I'm going to see if I can bend this aluminium sheeting into trim for the top wall of this. And while I'm doing that, I should do a few outdoor projects. And I figured I feel like doing some chemistry. So we have this little Vivor, Vivor, however you say it. Um, oh, what's it called? Distillation kit. And we had a lot of success with this in winter, but I think it was just too cold outside. It took a lot of heat. And I've decided, I happen to have this coffee tin. So, I used a, uh, a set of hole punches used for, made for electrical boxes to cut these holes in it. Then it turned out these holes were way the wrong size in the location, so I just ended up having to actually just cut the entire top. The idea being, this will help stop the heat from escaping. Something like that. Now, I don't really have room to install the, the holder, but is it really needed? I don't know. Ooh, I can do it on the top. Ah, look at that. Oh, I'm so smart. Today we're going to be distilling mineral spirits. A lot of my viewers say just to just let it settle out, but I think this is fun. And I'm going off of a new record. I'm, I'm chasing a new record, seeing how few watt hours I can expend to boil this. And then all that paint at the bottom will get thrown away. Now I still have an unbroken record. I have never bought mineral spirits before. I keep finding them in the basements of buildings and I keep recycling it. I've never bought it before, which is kind of cool. Then I took a little bit of input from you guys and I hooked up the water pump the correct way. Look at that. So now the water goes from up here, down here, up to here. That should keep you guys happier. Now let's turn this on. We start at 86%. I should have gone to 100, but I didn't. We can perfect our method and then go from there, I think. But I think this would be a good way to, to keep some of the heat in. Some people recommended to use sand. I don't have any sand on hand, but that would be a good idea. Maybe I'll take another one of these coffee tins, turn it upside down. That could also work. I have a few of these that are found in people's basements, so I plan to use them. It's a shame they don't make them. At least I don't think they make coffee in them anymore. And this can go in the dumpster. I installed the thermometer and we'll watch as that goes up. I presume it'll have to heat up the, the fluid fairly fast and then the vapor above it will heat up a lot quicker. So we're at 75 degrees Celsius, or a little over 70 degrees Celsius. I'm sure it's 75 at the bottom. And it's starting to bubble a little bit in there. We have some condensation in the tube there. So I'm gonna turn on the, the water pump. I 
And we'll uh, we'll monitor it. It's only at about 30 degrees Celsius. The water is warming up. I don't have any ice, unfortunately. I need to get into restoring refrigerators and I'll have ice. But we're at, well, let's say 100 milliliters. I expect this might take a while to turn off, so I'm going to turn it to off and uh, let it slow down a little bit. I find it interesting how the bottom three rungs of the distillation tower, I, I can't recall what it's called, distill distillation class or whatever, are filling up with the uh, mineral spirits. I'm gonna open this. So it all ran down. Then pour that in there. Turn this back on. Put that be over there. I think we're good. I should get a second one of those little flasks. Now, that's actually why I'm posting this video, is I'm going to take the, I don't know, $4 of ad revenue from this, and I'm going to put that towards buying some more labware. I can do some more fun experiments. I'll probably buy myself a media bottle, so I don't have to be putting these into little PET plastic bottles. But then again, it does leave all the paint at the bottom. So do I really want to do that? I don't know, but I could, I could, I could go with having a, a one liter media bottle or something like that, or having a few more of those beakers. So now it's back on, it should be speeding up. I have the water shielded because it's just raw water, it's not, no ice in it. Let's see what the temperature is. Okay, it's, 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 it's actually colder. It's 25 degrees Celsius. That's still perfectly usable for this. Because it's up to 40 degrees Celsius, so I'm gonna swap it out. Okay, we're ready for switch over number two. This is so seamless. With just a little bit of an upgrade, I can, I can, I, I bet I can retrieve like 95% of all the mineral spirits I ever use. And I might be able to entirely subsist off the stuff I find in the trash or in basements. This is really cool. The, uh, the moisture is starting to come down here. This thing heats up pretty quickly. Yeah, summer is way easier than winter. It just really is.
that's a good uh, 15 degrees Celsius difference in that temperature. Keeping that water cold should help with the efficiency. It's time to do the third switch over. I think it's the third. And also I'm noticing that the, uh, the boiling flash is getting a little bit low. So I don't want to have a, I don't want to have it flash over. I really enjoy how it looks whenever the uh, liquid vapor or the, the, the vapor of the thing that I'm, I'm boiling, the medium, the medium vapor? Yeah, gets to this uh, point, it starts dripping down. I just never would have expected that you could see it in there condensing. Okay, I saw that swirl of smoke in there, and I'm just going to turn it off. Looks like the paint's burning. Oh, fascinating. Not burning, but yeah, I don't think it's oxidizing, but um, it's releasing bubbles of probably plastic vapor. About 32%. Pretty good. I'm going to use half the battery instead of 1.3 times the battery that we would have used last time. And this was also doing a lot more, I think, because we completed it. I'm just going to let that sit for a good long while and we can see what, what we think about that. Okay, now it's time to disassemble it. Still a bit hot, so I'll let it cool down a little more. I thought I had to cut it, but my angle grinder battery was dead, so I just fully pulled them out. Now that can go down. I'd say that's pretty good for something 
that um, I feel like Mr. Melson had it just sitting around in his at his barn. So uh, thank you very much, Mr. Melson, for this. It is now flashing for well, the entire trim for the for the repair shop. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. It's actually sitting on the wall too, so I didn't make it too uh, out of true, or at least it's bent like the wall is. This is actually a job that a neighbor wants me to fix that. It got water damage, so that's an easy 15 or 20 dollars. Well, that's pretty much it. The the Opez Mega One Power Pack was down to 21% whenever I turned it off, and I think this did a pretty good job. But also doing it in summer instead of winter did a pretty good job too. We managed to do this without blowing up the backyard, but. Um, I'm going to have to clean that. What a mess. Oh, too many things in here, but I'm getting a lot of work done and I'm slowly cleaning up. And this is pretty much two, uh, three quarters full now. We processed quite a bit of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya.